Hello and welcome to this hands-on lab where we will deploy the CRUD application on a fleet of EC2 instances backed by Auto Scaling Group. We have done this before, but now we will do this for this application with DynamoDB database. Let us create the launch configuration first. I think we already have this launch configuration lying around. Let us take a look. So the whole idea is we need to create a launch configuration that has the user data to deploy code deploy agent. That is what is happening here. And it should have the IAM role EC2 S3 full access and the security group, which has access to port 8080. So we have port 8080 is open. 88 is open. Great. So I think it is meeting all the prerequisites. So there is no need of duplicate effort. We have already created this in, I believe, section 7, if I'm not wrong. Yep. Then create auto scaling group. Let's give it a name ASG for code deploy. And next, let us select all the subnet. Next, no load balancer as of now, but let us check this because when, when we will add the load balancer, this setting will be helpful. Next, and mm, yep, let us have one EC2 instance on which the deployment will happen. No scaling policies. Next, 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 and create auto scaling group. We are all set. ASG CD. Now code deploy and application. Let us create another deployment group because this deployment group deploys on a single EC2 instance. Now we need to create a deployment group that deploys on a fleet of EC2 instances backed by ASG. Okay, great. And the same service role in place, this time auto scaling group. And this is the auto scaling group. Now it gets one instance and deployment settings same, no load balancer. In next lab session, we will have load balancer added to this whole configuration. Create deployment group. And that's it. Now create deployment. This time, we do not have to do the build or make any code changes because we have successfully deployed the application revision from S3 to a single EC2 instance. Hence, the application revision is healthy, so it should be good for deployment. Okay. Good. Create deployment. And let us see what happens. Where is the ASG here? Okay. Instance management. Okay. So now this lifecycle hook is created. And because of this, what will happen is from next time onward, whenever you will add an EC2 instance by increasing the number. It will go into the phases like pending, pending wait, pending transition. And it was not pending transition. I'm sorry, guys. I don't know what is with this particular stage that I keep forgetting about it. Okay. And then finally in service. So as soon as an EC2 instance is created because of the hook, the application is deployed by the code deploy first, and then it comes in service. And let us see what code deploy has to say about it. Succeeded. Okay. So if it is successful, it implies 
that this EC2 instance should have application up and running on port 8080. Indeed, it is. Okay, let us not test the APIs now. Let us create one more EC2 instance and then test the APIs. Okay. All right. So edit two, 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 and update. And in the meantime, why don't we go ahead and create another environment for one more EC2 so that from EC2 instance 1, we will create the table. From EC2 instance 2, we will insert data. From EC2 instance 1, we will read data and so on and so forth so that we can confirm that APIs are working from both the instances. So add EC2 hyphen another. It's up to you, whatever name you want to give. The variable ha has to be URL. And initial value is okay. The in service one is this. Seven zero seven zero. Okay. This and this is up here. Okay. No need of trailing forward slash. Okay. So easy to another has the IP address, the endpoint, the URL of first EC2 instance created by launch configuration rather auto scaling group. And this is the second one which has this IP address and we will configure it to work with EC2. EC2 another is with first EC2 instance of auto scaling group. EC2 will work with second EC2 instance. So let us just modify the IP address bar. Yes, sounds good. So now both the EC2 instances have variable rather environment and we can fire the APIs from both the environments that is from both the EC2 instances. But before that the prerequisite is that it should be up here. Yep, in service. Good. Let us see that in action. Okay, from one EC2 instance, let us do create table. From second EC2 instance, let us do insert data. From third EC2 instance, that is the first EC2 instance, let us do read data. From second EC2 instance, the other one. Let us do update data and we are, I'm not checking on the UI because we're getting the success response. You may want to check on the UI as well for validation. And for this EC2 instance, we can delete the data and we can delete the table with this environment. Amazing. It's working seamlessly. That's all for this session in next session we will add an application load balancer and we will see how application load balancer 
will handle the traffic on multiple EC2 instances and how the deployment will work. Okay. Thank you and looking forward to seeing you in the next session.